part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. I'm from Klotz Productions, and welcome back to game two of the match between Grixis Control and Blue White Illusions. I took a mulligan down to six for this game, and Nick led it off at the Glacial Fortress, and then I laid down a Black Cleave Cliffs. Nick then played a Ponder and rearranged the cards on the top of his library. He then laid down an Island and used it to cast a Phantasmal Bear, however I killed the bear before the end of the turn with a Geist Flame. I laid down an Island of my own, and then Nick played a Delver of Secrets. He followed it up by attempting to cast a second bear, however I countered it with a Mana Leak. Then laid down a Sulphur Falls and used a Doom Blade to kill the Delver. Nick then played another Ponder and rearranged the cards. He laid down a Glacial Fortress before passing his turn, and then I played a Drowned Catacomb and passed it back. He then resolved a Geist of Saint Traft, and then on my turn I laid down a Swamp and killed the Geist with a Slag Storm. Nick then played a second Delver of Secrets. I laid down a Ghost Quarter and attempted to kill the Delver by flashing back my Geist Flame, however he used a Vapor Snag to bounce it back to his hand, going down to 19. Then replayed the Delver, however I was able to kill it this time with a go for the throat. Nick decided to try his luck with the Lord of the Unreal, however I used an Inferno Titan to kill the Lord and do another damage to him, dropping him to 18. Nick played a Seachrome Coast tapped, and then during my next combat, he exiled my Titan with a Celestial Purge. In post-combat, I resolved an Olivia Valderin, however before the end of my turn, Nick bounced it back to my hand with a Vapor Snag and dropped me to 19. Nick simply passed his next turn and then I replayed the Olivia, however he countered it this time with a Flash Freeze. He played another Delver of Secrets and then during his next upkeep revealed a Flash Freeze on the top of his library, transforming the Delver into an Insectile Aberration. He attacked with the Aberration, dropping me to 16 and then again taking me down to 13. Then post-combat, he resolved a second Lord of the Unreal. I continued to draw a land and Nick took me down to 8. So at the end of his turn, I sacrificed one of my Ghost Quarter and destroyed an island to find another island and try to thin my library out a little bit. However, it didn't help because I still drew a mountain and then Nick took me down to 3 on his turn. So in desperation to find an answer, I destroyed my own land again. I then started off my next turn by casting a Slag Storm, knowing that Nick had a Flash Freeze in his hand. However, he used a Mana Leak on the Slag Storm instead, so I went ahead and let it get countered and then I followed it up with a Black Sun Zenith for 2 to wipe his board. However, before both of his creatures died, he used a Vapor Snag to return his Lord back to his hand and then went down to 17. Nick then drew a Moreland Haunt off the top of his library and put it into play and then replayed the Lord. I drew my next card and then at the end of my turn, Nick put a Spirit into play. So I went ahead and scooped it up because all I had was a Mana Leak, giving Nick the win and taking us to Game 3. So that's it for this game. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end of the video, along with links to previous highlights gameplays. And as always, if you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.